I'd like to say welcome back as ever to the Contorn Boss Eddie Patterson. Eddie, I have to start off with the elephant in the room. Yet again, more issues with regard to the uh, IFA and issues of player registration. Now it's war on point, it was your save shortly. We'll talk about that uh, Gary Hamilton thing very shortly, but war on point, who's to blame here? Well, the way, the way it is, you, you, you register a player, um, you register a player with, your, your, with the IFA. Um, the club has some sort of onus on it. But the IFA, if they're going to accept the registration, I think they should know where, where things are coming from. The other side you look at it is that, um, did Glenavon know? Is that the reason why Glenavon didn't play in the first instance, knowing that, the, the, that that issue was there? There's, there's quite a few questions to be, to be answered, but um, you know, it, it looks the way it's going at the moment, that, that one point is going to be very, very hardly, hard done by. The fans, uh, as a fan who's someone who's, who's covered a lot of matches, this this season has happened in the past too. I'm just about fed up with issues off the park, off the play. You know, it's hard enough to get points, hard enough to get teams out, hard enough to get crowds to come along, and yet more headlines about issues off the park. It's getting to be a bit of a joke, Eddie. Unfortunately, Logie, that's, that's been it. Season after season after season, there's been registration complaints, there's been uh, you know, the, the issue with, with Glenavon. Uh, with ourselves, and, and that's not, you know, I, I honestly can't blame Glenavon over that. They acted on the, the advice that they were given by the IFA, albeit the wrong advice. Um, but yeah, it's becoming a, a starting joke. Uh, our association is becoming a starting joke. Um, but it seems to be happening on a quite regular basis, season after season. Warren Feeney says he has a great deal of sympathy for Glen Torn and the issue over Gary Hamilton, and I believe you're, you're still uh, looking to see if you'll take it even further. Yeah, well, my issue with that, Rogi, is the fact that um, you know the IFA came out with a statement of uh, having volunteers on a disciplinary panel. The advice given to those volunteers came from an employee of the IFA who should know the rules. I'd like to also point out that we all have volunteers within our own clubs who do the registrations, the secretarial work and what have you. And when they make a mistake, they get punished. They either lose points or a fine or both on most occasions. So someone within the IFA has to be accountable for what has happened to, in, in this whole sorry issue. We can't blame Gary Hamilton, we can't blame Glen Adam. They have acted loyally on the advice, the advice that they were given by an employee of the IFA. And if that employee of the IFA does not know the rules of FIFA, then he shouldn't be imposed, or she shouldn't be imposed. And that's the way I'm looking at it. Now you look at it like that, but the chances of getting a result out there to the IFA are probably slight. What do you reckon? No, it's not going to happen. It's it's not going to happen. Um, as I say, they're starting by, they've, they've said they've made a mistake. Well, other clubs have made mistakes in the past. They've had to suffer the consequences. Su suffer the consequences. They've been punished. Someone within the IFA has to be accountable, and that punishment should fit the, the crime, so to speak. We have, we have secretaries who beat themselves up when they make a mistake. And the same thing should happen with the IFA.